Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and this episode of Sculptor VR is bringing in the multiplayer aspect of Sculptor VR. That's right, with this program, not only can we sculpt and carve, but we could also do it with friends, do it with other people at the same time. Build a project together, destroy a project together. Multiplayer in v Sculptor VR. This particular episode is about creating your avatar, sculpting the head that represents you for everybody else in VR. Most people can't see the full body like this, like I can do in these videos. So in the multiplayer menu on your main controller in Sculptor VR, the multi-person button will bring up your multiplayer options. So if you want to either join somebody else's sculpture or host your own sculpture, here is one of the places you can activate it. But for today, we're gonna look at customizing your avatar, actually creating the way you're gonna look to other people when you join them in VR. Here we go, customize avatar. And I'm going to use this fine looking fellow to represent myself in multiplayer. So if we join the same sculpture, this is what I'm going to look at, look like. So we've got the body, that's just a placement marker that shows both where you are and how big you are in the sculpture. The head, the part in the box here, this is the part you can customize. You can make it look like anything you could sculpt. Even better, Sculptor VR will let you save up to five different heads. So you can make a different head for each occasion. A Sunday best, a party head, a working head, a head with certain friends, that type of thing. So we're going to start with a new one load this one as its most basic it's just your standard sphere with a couple of uh silver spheres attached to it now anything you can do in normal sculptor vr will work here as well with a few limitations for example your head only has one layer so you cannot build up multiple layers. You have to draw them all in one field. But all of your normal tools still work the same way, including our working in different sizes, different scales. So if I want to work on my head in a very large aspect, I can get to that kind of detail. It does not go full size. In fact, I think this is about as big as I'm going to get it mostly to save information as you're moving around. We'd rather use your bandwidth for the sculpture, not your face. So if you wanna make a sculpture of your face, that's one thing, but for our avatar, it is one layer of limited size. Our palette is still the full palette. We do have the different types, whether it's glow in the dark or metallic or just plain clay. We do have those as options. We even have options for if you want it to be uh, smooth uh, versus, let me get to my head style over here, smooth versus polygon, cubes, polygon edges, smooth edges, so we do have a little bit of the texture as well as color and material type. If you do want to use a reference image for making your avatar, we can bring in our reference images here. So now let's unlock him. Oops, get him out of the way. Move it so we can see it better. So I can have a reference image for while I work on my sculpture. So many of your normal sculpture commands are still here and still available. So we've got our sculpting. We've got our styles, whether it's smooth or cubes or what have you. By default, when you're looking at it face on, it will also try to mirror your action. We do have a built-in mirror, so here we go on one side, turn the mirror on, and whatever I do is duplicated. Let's go back to colors, different color here. And we'll shrink that down. So you can see how it mirror images on or off. That way, if you're trying to do a symmetrical head, the mirror tool helps make that a lot easier. Mirror layer styles are your main menu controls. 
Now, because we are limited in the size and scope, there's actually a little graph here. I wish I could rotate the graph itself, but it shows your detail limit. So if I start doing too much, I really go crazy with different styles, different colors, different layer types, different metallics, that type of thing. It's filling up a graph showing how much detail you're using versus what's your maximum that your bandwidth is going to allow. We don't want too complicated heads. Again, we want all of our bandwidth going for the sculpture, not your avatar. So it's got these tools to help you keep track of what you're doing. Save head lets you choose which position. I'll save this one as the second head. So now in my list, head number two is this wacky, crazed out mess that I just made. So let's go in, let's switch back to carve. Let's get rid of a lot of this stuff. Let's make something a little more interesting since we are uh, here on the Shameless Mayhem YouTube channel. Let's do a Shameless Mayhem style of face here. We're gonna get a big blue sphere. Oops, let's go for smooth. There we go. Now, we do have our whoops, sidebar here, so we do have our usual painting tools, like our spheres. I'm going to do a big pink sphere, uh, I mean a torus. And now I'm going to go for the sword tool in green. Oops, let's actually do it as the sword undo. I just want to do it as the paint tool. There we go. Shameless mayhem. So this, it's fairly simple on the detail limit. It's got a front so you can tell which way I'm facing. It's quick and simple. I'm going to save that one instead of the big mess. So now in my head list, I've got my handsome devil or I've got my company logo. And I have up to five different heads I can keep on file at all times. So now when I actually join a, a, a multiplayer instance, I can choose which head I want to represent myself with. This is in all versions of Sculptor VR, gives you control for when you join the multiplayer experience. When I hit back, takes me back to my original sculpture with all my layers and things, and now I can open it up to multiplayer and invite people. For myself, I don't see that head because it's me. But my other person, whoops, get out of the way, please. But anyone who joins me will see me represented as that figure. We'll be doing some more multiplayer later on. We're going to try to invite some other people to join us in sculptures. But that's how you set up your avatar. We hit the white multiplayer button and customize avatar. And that's how you represent how you look for everybody else in virtual reality. I hope this has helped you. I hope it gives you some ideas of things to try, especially if you've got some friends you can play with regularly. Coming up with a couple of different fun heads to play with can be, can be really interesting. Let us know if there are any questions or if there are other ideas for episodes that you'd like to learn about. We're doing these things on a regular basis here on YouTube. Oops. Slash Shameless Mayhem. So leave us any questions in the comments below. We can even do episodes based on what you want to learn. Thanks for joining us and have fun in Sculptor VR.